position out of your way a little bit. So Seth's brain is like, oh, my body weight shifted to one side. I really want to square myself back up. If I let him square himself back up, I'm going to have a really hard time. Okay, the more I stay on my hip, the easier this is. Especially if you're not terribly flexible this direction, the more I can keep everything articulated from the hip and the knee, the easier it's going to be. All right, and the easiest way to do that is to be on your side. So, clear the grips. As I hip out, if I'm on my side, this is pretty easy for me to work from. If I'm flat on my back, I'm going to have a really hard time here because then, then it's just a matter of flexibility. Okay, but I'm under. I'm blocking Seth's neck with my hand. Now, depending on the space that you need, you can make it, okay? And I've got several ways to do this. The first one being, I just grab my foot and I pull it over, okay? So it's a bit of flexibility there. I can push Seth's head, throw my leg. For one that I use quite a bit, is I'm actually just gonna extend my body, okay? So instead of staying close here, I'm gonna lock my hands, well, my hands are gonna stay locked, I'm gonna make myself big to make room for my leg. And then I'll open up into the omoplata. Okay, so find one that you like, I don't care which one, and transition into the omoplata. Okay, cool? All right, let's do it.